want to shoot a video of uh, one of my more venomous scorpions and uh, that is one of my it's a species of the African fat tail and as you can see these ones they come from uh, for the majority of the time the northern part of Africa but you could find them in the Middle East and uh, these ones here there's so many different kind of like subspecies uh, it's well, I'll try to the, the, it's kind of under the family of Antaroctus which means man killer uh, but uh, I could probably list a couple of the different subspecies uh, down below but uh, super easy to care for uh, I've had this one a couple of years and basically just keep it in a, a large critter keeper and uh, I do provide a little bit of water but you, you probably don't need it you know, being a desert species they're uh, you know they're native to you know, basically deserts with lots of rocks they like to have they need a place to hide that's why I have that big hide there but I've never been able to actually video it eating I have not fed this one in a while so who knows we'll see if it's I would imagine it's hungry but scorpions are super easy to care for they they basically uh, as long as you provide them with uh, heat and what I I have uh, all my scorpions kind of locked up in a oh, I would you call it kind of a makeshift stereo cabinet and then I use heat pads on the bottom of, of the tanks but uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, move them outside I'm in Minnesota now the summers are nice and hot the thing with scorpions is uh, they're nocturnal so to get one to eat in the daylight probably be a little bit difficult but yeah, like I said this one this particular species or this family of uh, scorpions are not ones you'd want to mess with Now that it's, uh, I got to move a little bit, I think uh, if one of those crickets were to come into its path, I think it probably would be, uh, agitated probably enough to go for a quick breakfast. We'll add a little bit of water for the crickets, but... And these, I mean, scorpions, easy to care for. They could live for years. Uh, got 10 plus for sure. I've, I've read up to 20, but uh, that'd be an awfully long time. And it's kind of neat too, is they, they shed their skin and you, you wake up one morning thinking you got two scorpions uh, because the uh, exoskeleton, I mean, looks just like the, uh, the scorpion. You know, I don't think we're going to have any luck with this uh, eating. Huh? I, oh, it went the wrong way. But yeah, this is, uh, like I said, one of the one of the subspecies of the, the African fat tail sort scorpion. And I'll put what subspecies it is below uh, or, or on the screen or in the description just so you kind of have an idea what, what what you're looking at so anyways I would love for you guys to subscribe uh, hit the bell notification and uh, if you've had experience with this particular scorpion or scorpions in general please leave a, uh, a comment below I'd love to hear from you and make it a great day